Hi there guys and welcome to the video. It's going to be a quick one. It's a very specific subject. I received my new thermal printer yesterday. Um, this is, to be specific, it's a Zebra GK420D. I don't know if that's going to show. There's the model number there. That's a thermal printer for printing off labels uh, for the packages that I ship out. Now, it arrived with software. I bought this one secondhand, but I could have bought it new. There was an offer on, but I bought one secondhand for about half the price. Uh, here's the software to install it. Problem is, I run, uh, well, I use Macs, um, and I could not get this software to run on a Mac. It's all Windows software. Oh, eBay messages coming in. So I was having all sorts of bother trying to install this on my Mac. I went onto YouTube, was searching around for videos that would solve the problem of installing a driver for this on my Mac so I could, so my Mac could recognize it as a printer. Um, there were several videos saying that I could use a link and I could pay up to a hundred pounds to get some driver software to install on my Mac to run this for me. I was like, oh, really? That's like more than I paid for the printer. Um, thankfully, I asked on several Facebook groups and a very kind chap called Ashley sent me a link that I'm going to share with you um, in a second, which worked. And well, it's a bit of a caveat um, for this works for any Mac with an operating system. Uh, what we 10.5 and beyond. My Mac is running 10.12. Um, and it works fine for that. What I'm going to do is screen share the link for the page I'm about to show you with the solution or the way around this uh, will be below. Just click that link and you will come to the page I'm about to show you. Uh, it's it's a really quick fix. Essentially, there is a driver installed on Max, um, where were we, 10.5, and as far as I know, beyond. Uh, we're not sure if it works on the, on the, on this page. It says they're not sure if it works before that. Let me stop waffling and I'll share this page. And hopefully if you were having the same problem trying to install this thermal printer on your Mac, this will solve the issue as it did for me within minutes. So let me screen share and we will get into this. Right, hold on. I've uh, just got to find the right thing. Application window. That one. Okay, so you should be seeing this page. So this is the web page. I don't know if you can see the address. Um, oh God, I've lost it. Come back, come back. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, so it says installing a Zebra printer on a Mac, um, which of course is the issue I was having. Um, so go to system preferences. Uh, which is the little uh, sort of cog icon on your Mac. Uh, bring up uh, printers and faxes, go into that. Um, and then you click the little plus button here. Uh, you will have, um, I think in this box here, you'll have the actual printers that you've already got installed. Um, if you, at this point, you need to have your new thermal printer plugged in via USB and it will appear. Uh, as in this next box here, um, Zebra Technologies GX420D. So highlight that. And then you need to go to this select a driver to use. And already on your Mac, there will be loads. There's pages and pages of these. Go right to the bottom. So this little scroll bar here that I'm circling, scroll that right to the bottom and you've got four Zebra options. The one you want is this last one, Zebra ZPL label printer, and that will work as a driver for the GX420D. Uh, it then goes into a, a way of quickly testing if you've got it working, but effectively you just go to print a document and it will, once you've, inst you know, <laughs> once you have selected this driver to use to run that Zebra printer, when you go to print an item, you can select your Zebra printer um, and away you go. It is as simple as that. You then have to select the label size, etc. But, you know, you can figure all of that out. This 
will solve the problem that I was scratching my head about for a good few hours this morning. So let me just come out of here. I stop screen share. So right, I hope that made sense. Basically, the link that's below will take you to that page and that will talk you through finding the driver that should already be on your Mac. If you've got a Mac that is uh, 10.5 or later, as I say, mine is 10.12 uh, operating system and that driver was there. Scroll to the end of those that pages and pages of different printer drivers and that very last one. Uh, I can't remember what it called it now. Let me just pull up the page. Uh, Zebra ZPL laser printer 1.3. That driver will run it and it worked instantly and I have been printing off labels since then. So yeah, I just wanted to put this out there. I know it's a very specific video, but if you have this problem and it helps you and it stops you pulling your hair out, my work here is done. So yeah, just to summarize, this was for the Zebra GK420D thermal printer and it allows you to install a driver on a Mac that is 10.5 and beyond. It should already be on your Mac, you just got to know how to find it and use it. So there you go. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who has this problem, please share the video with them. Hopefully it will make their day because it made my day. Uh, so yeah, thanks Ashley for sharing the tip with me on Facebook. Cheers guys. Bye for now.